Hi, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to show you the consequences of stealing from the warlock-like shopkeeper in Marbe Village. And here we are in the shop. Say, for example, you're low on bombs like I am. I've got zero to my name, and, well, I have got money to spare, but I'm stingy. So all you need to do is go over to this little counter here, lift these bombs up, and do circles around the shopkeeper for a bit until... He, um, he gets tired of turning around and ends up staring at the wall. And then you should be able to sneak out. Not like that, though. Okay, let's try this one more time. Just do circles, and then go... Ah! And just like that, we did it! And I feel like a horrible human being, but at least I've got bombs now. I am proud of myself. Now, if we go inside the shop again, we'll be met by this scene. And uh, this is the part where we have to actually pay for the goods. Are you proud of yourself? Was it worth it? Upon respawning, you end up in the shop again. But if you look to the top right, we still have the bombs we stole. <laughs> the shopkeeper seems to have forgiven us since we have technically paid for it with our life. The consequences to this are very dire. As unfortunately, Marin, even though she won't do it in this instance, because she's kind of emotional right now at this part of the story, she will always refer to you as Thief in nice, big, strong capital letters. And if you can live with that, by all means, steal to your heart's content. I, for one, can't. Which is why I'm going to reload an old save file. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you found this video educational. As much as I did, because now I know, if I steal from a shop, I will likely die, be reborn, and then get given the item anyway. If you did enjoy, of course, feel free to leave a like, it really helps me out, and most importantly, subscribe, and hit the bell notification as well. If you're looking for something else to watch, by all means, feel free to check out our Link's Awakening playthrough. It's not your usual playthrough, I like to go the immersive route. So if that's your cup of tea, by all means, there is a link on the end card. And with that being said, roll the outro.